One of the UK's leading businesswomen has said that taking long maternity leave is bad for women's <coughs> careers. Lady Barbara Judge, who's the first female chair of the Institute of Directors, says a nanny can be paid to look after a baby because a long break can damage future job prospects for women. Her reported comments at a conference in London have been criticised by the parenting charity NCT, which says that early bonding with a child is very important. We're going to discuss the pros and cons in a moment. But first, let's meet someone directly affected. Claire Grant is a lecturer. Her son, William, is now three. She was starting a new job when he was born, so had a tough choice to make, as she told Samantha Flanagan. Claire, how soon was it after giving birth to William that you went back to work? William was about two weeks and one day old. That is quick by anyone's standards. Why did you decide to go back so soon? Um, well, I'd originally planned to go back um, probably within about six weeks for financial reasons mainly. Um, my husband stopped working um, and so there were lots of other circumstances really that led to it. Tell me what your first month back at work was like. It was just strange really. I, had, I would have lots and lots of texts from my husband uh, with photographs. Um, for example, of William crying, saying, what do I do? Mummy at red. Mummy's wearing red. That's so I had a feeling really of helplessness quite a lot. Um, I also was very determined to want to breastfeed. So I had to use my breast pump every five minutes. Um, I was having to leave work um, at lunch times to go home to feed William myself. If you were going to do this again, do you think you would take longer before you go back to work? Absolutely. I certainly wouldn't take the whole year um, because I just think I would get quite bored. But I just feel that there's a lot of things that I missed out on that I do regret. Um, and I would plan completely differently next time. Lady Barbara Judge, who's the chair of the Institute of Directors, has this week said that taking long maternity breaks is bad for women. Do you think that that's true? It very much depends on the role that you're in. Um, I was in a job that it probably would have made a fairly big impact on my career. What did your friends and family think when you told them you were going back to work after two weeks? Um, they did think I was crazy and that I probably didn't understand how I was going to be feeling after I'd had the baby. Um, I don't think I really knew how I was going to feel but I had no choice but to just get on with it because I had to go back. Claire Grant there, who took just two weeks off. Women can take up to 52 weeks maternity leave. 39 of those will be paid. Well, joining us for this discussion is Laura Perrins, co-editor of the Conservative Woman UK Morning. Morning. Uh, Rosie, let's begin with you. So, um, maternity leave, too long? I think a year is too long because I think that you would, you, the, the mother might be, feel de-skilled, uh, demotivated and slightly unconfident going back after such a long time away. Um, I've got four children. My first three, I was, I was working at the BBC. And I went back when they were about eight, ten weeks old and it was very, very tough. I mean, it was very hard, but I did suddenly feel, blimey, can I still do this job? Even after I'd taken, so I'd taken in total about 14 weeks for each child. And then with my last child, I was, I'd left the BBC by then, and I did my first job after having him and he was four days old. Um, you know, he was my fourth child. I was very used to, he was a sweet baby, just sort of slept in his little chair. And, and criti critically, I, I worked at home, so I could combine work and having a baby, and, and, and I was experienced at having a baby by then. I think it really depends on what the job is, whether you can take your child in, because you know, it's all very well for Lady Judge to say, oh, people can hire a nanny, but nannies are very, very expensive. And I think that if you're going to go back to work with a tiny baby, putting a tiny baby in a nursery is possibly not the best idea. Well, that's one of the things that was suggested, that a nanny could look after a baby, Laura, because the baby's not going to remember the mum not being there at that point and it basically needs to be watered, fed, kept warm? Well, I, I think babies need a lot more than, than that. I mean, the question in terms of is maternity too long? Well, it's not. a year isn't too long for the baby and it's generally not too long for women and nor is it too long for society. It's really, really important that we recognise that, you know, young babies, infants have very special needs and is, is very attached to its mother. It knows, it knows its mother's heartbeat from, from um, being in the womb. 
it knows its mother's voice and it's really important we support new mothers um, when to, to bond with with their baby you know caring should count in a society it shouldn't just be about careers or you know uh, uh, or money it's really important that we um, we don't put any more pressure on new mothers being a new mother can be quite overwhelming because you have this tiny baby who's completely dependent on you or certainly dependent on, on, on someone else and it's really important that we don't put more pressure on mothers to get back to work and you have to have your figure a certain way and oh by the way you also kind of have to look after the baby you know the baby isn't something just to be tacked around an adult's life Sophia it's, it's a priority that needs care now, I completely agree with everything Laura said but unfortunately women we are now economic units. We've all got student loans, we've all got mortgages, and we've also got childcare. Because we have to realise that the government, that small businesses, the family, and indeed the child itself, it's a linked unit, and we have to all pull together. The thing is that the maternity legislation, as it exists today, is basically useless. It's actually highlighting a lot of discrimination for women. 54,000 women lost their jobs as soon as they announced that they were pregnant. So the legislation itself is not fit for purpose. I wonder, Omar, if we can bring in the, the issue of shared parental leave, yeah. um, how much more that could take, take part in, in evening it out and allowing women to go back to work and feel secure in their jobs and progress their careers, as well as knowing that their family's well looked after. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And obviously, the women here are more entitled to talk about maternity leave. I should specify that before. Mm, that? Maternity, but, but, but you're, paternity, paternity leave. You have an interest yeah. in, how, in how babies are raised. Yeah, so that's Everybody what I was has, gonna Society say. has a really yeah. big interest in making sure our babies are yeah. emotionally stable and are attached okay. to yeah. their caregivers. So that's sort of what I was going to say, so thanks for dropping <laughs> that. Um, I, I think a lot of guys I know want to see their babies more. They want to see their kids more. And I think shared paternity leave is good. It, uh, it's, it's a step in the right direction. But I think as long as the option is there, there for men to say, well, well, you, you have it all, love, I'll, I'll, I need to work. I think some men need to be dragged, kicking and screaming, towards yeah. home, you know. That's it's, the only when it's, it's only when it's really laid down. It's an issue of nomenclature. No man is going to muscle in on maternity leave <laughs> when they only actually get two weeks of mm. paternity leave. Yeah. And now there's this new innovation that Laura and I were discussing, which is obviously shared parental leave, but recent and figures show that only 1% of men as a whole, not just new fathers, actually took it up. 1%. But, but and I'm surprised it's even are, 1%. It yeah. could be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was even less than that. Where are our men stepping up to the plate? No, the, I the, think... the, the, it, it's very important you're not unfair towards men. It, the, there are some men who do uh, share paternity leave, but perhaps towards the end of maternity leave, so after six months. I do think it's really important that, apart from exceptional circumstances, that mum can be with a new baby for the first six months. And it's often after that, and I have friends who, who, will, who will share it around, that the, the dad feels more confident with a slightly, you know, with not a tiny newborn. They're a bit more confident when there's a bit more about the baby, say it's six months or seven months. And it's even, so patronising. I mean, no, it's, well, it's not patronising. Well, it, you're, you're being dismissive of, of, of fathers. And these are new fathers who have who have a lot of responsibility on themselves and those that aren't at home caring are usually out working and providing for their as children. As are women. Yes, a, 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 as are women but it's important that the 52 weeks are, is there and it can be shared between, Do between you think the families. Well, it's for the family to well, survive, think... it's for the family to decide themselves which how they want to organise their lives, but mothers do not need any more pressure on them when, when they've just had a new baby. Omar, you were saying that's a, a dated... I mean, it sounds movie. like... You know, sometimes on iPlayer, you get the old clips from the 60s. It sounds like I was watching one of those. No, you know? Omar, because, you know, politics might change. And the, be, no, adults, but people uh, change. No, but the needs of babies don't, Omar. Okay. And I've had three. And babies so, don't need dads. That should just be at the office. I, I never the said that. I said there are plenty of fathers who do... You said it yourself. There are plenty of fathers who want to be at home caring for their caring for their children but remember it shouldn't be to the detriment of a mum who is at home who needs to recover from the birth Omar who also may want to establish breastfeeding if 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 that's what she wants to do and as possible and it is incredibly important for both public health and for the baby herself so new new dads have a really important role in supporting in supporting mums um, to bond and to nurture their, their new baby. Rosie. Well, I think to say that, I mean, you know, fathers are, are, are very good with tiny babies. I mean, to say that a father is sort of nervous until a child's six months old I think is, all day is... can be a challenge, Rosie. 
Well, OK, but, you know, I don't think it's... I don't think that's uh, uh, across the board. No, no, sure, I really, sure. I really don't. Sure. A, I think fathers are pretty decent at dealing, in my experience, with newborn babies. Uh, B, I think it's quite tough for employers to have, uh, you know, the workforce disappearing for a year. I mean, a year is a really long time. And C, and, and not in order of... Uh, you know, in equal weight, women enjoy working. I mm. mean, I, I, you know, I think that... It is, it is tough going back to work when your child is, is very small and you do feel a wrench, but I think there are, there are ways of ameliorating that. And I think that women... You, we, we enjoy working. And, do you think and, women and I enjoy my if, job if, and if I want, want to go, go back, back to it. you want to earlier, you can, but what I don't like is it chipping away at the idea that caring doesn't count or a chipping away, undermining women who want to take their full maternity leave rights, mm. that that's being undermined how because much? of the letting the side down. I think, I think many women don't realise it's not on full pay. I mean, a year. How, that, that's how how and, and, and it's quite expensive, frankly. How much of this is dependent on the employer and businesses' attitudes as well to women? Because you went back to work and you said after a few weeks, even I think it was 14 weeks, you said your confidence you felt, you, yes. were, you were questioning yes. yourself. How much, Sophia, is it up to businesses to ensure that anyone returning from parental leave feels empowered and feels secure in their job when they go back? That's the whole thing that I was saying. The law as it is now, that whole 52 weeks as a block, each and every day is wrong. Most women now can work from home. We can even do part-time maternity leave where you keep your hand in both before, during and after your child is born. But how, yeah. how, how effective is that for it's the legislation. business? But how, legislation. Whether it's legislation. Whether it's legislation or not, as a business owner, how would they cope with someone who says, I'm going to dip into work because well, my priority is now my family? So their priority isn't the business and isn't the job. How does that work? Look, every business I know up and down the country has human resources. We are humans. Each business has to recognise they are employing a person. Behind that person is a family. Well, I, I, uh, Sophia's got a point. I mean, I think that you know, Wi-Fi, smartphones, uh, the internet. These are feminism's greatest assets, Indeed. actually, <laughs> because you can you can work from home really effectively. Well, actually, if you, you know, work in a supermarket, you can't work from indeed, home. If you work in a factory, job, no, you can't absolutely. work from home. Absolutely, and if you're a brain surgeon, you can't work from absolutely. home either. But many, many jobs you can scythe the time spent in the office because you can do it from home with very, very adequate internet electronic devices to help you do that. And I think that you know that is a huge bonus, a huge and often unsung bonus for, for women who want to, to, to stay at home and be with their children and work. And whatever, I mean, working from home is great, I do it all the time. Right? Um, and uh, whatever we say about this, we need to rebalance it because I think we've got, we've got a generation of guys, especially more career-minded, you know, old-fashioned guys who hardly see their kids. What happens? The kids grow up, they've got daddy issues, we've got delinquent youths. So it's not in anyone's interest. <laughs> well, no, you've no, you've no evidence what? for that. Yeah, I, I haven't heard of really? sort of tsunami of... Feral of, children. Of, Feral of, children. <laughs> Dad I mean, worked! It, it, yeah. yeah, dad work. Uh, I, think, I never I think saw that. I think there's a lot of children who are brought up without being in contact with their fathers at all, and that's the real issue, perhaps for another day. Yeah. But, dad, but I think there are lots no, of no, people no. who oh. hardly see their dads because it's the expectation is that men are there to just I work, think, work, work, work. And, 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 women, and women are, and women are there to, to flip the, cook and the clean. gender roles now at all. Mm. Oh, well, you obviously live in some cave where okay. you know the feminists haven't got to you. Well, right? Omar comes out of his cave, and. And we, <laughs> say, and we, just take, we take a moment them. to take a breath, <laughs> I think. Let's find out what you've been saying, shall we? Um, Tommy, voice yes, of uh, reason, please. People are, people are coming out from under their duvets this morning <laughs> and getting involved in uh, our debate. Real mixed views again on this one. A lot of people think that the length of maternity leave depends on personal circumstances, uh, a bit like what Laura was saying, I think, earlier on. Uh, OK, on to the first comment. Dana says, it depends on the individual. Who <laughs> is she, the judge, to decide what's right for every woman? Susan says, uh, yes, I do think that maternity leave is too long. I chose never to have children and have seen a number of my female colleagues take 12 months from work, which has a huge negative impact on the business. Rose also getting in touch saying, it's hard. As a mum, you're torn between being at work and being a good mum, but you need to somehow contribute to the family finances and make that all work somehow. Uh, Alan says, far too long. 12 months, far too long. Uh, up to a year <laughs> off, they're having a laugh. Uh, and Jill has tweeted in, says, is work more important than bringing up the next generation? Why do we think that parenting is best left to paid carers? Interesting, very interesting. Uh, Sophia, your reaction? 
somebody raised the issue that they don't have children, so it's not the thing to do with them. And may I say this, we've got a huge problem at the moment with elderly social care. So even though that person is saying, I don't have children, mm. they must have parents. They're going to have that same issue at the mm. other end of their careers, of their lives. What do we do with our, our, our elderly? What do we do with the people who are also vulnerable, who also need care? So we've got to look at this from government, through society, small businesses to the family, and indeed to the person that needs care. Because if we don't, the next 20 years, this whole system is going to grind to a halt. Women are delaying their, their, their birth for, for children, they're having less children, and yet we're, our, our elderly and our, our population is getting older and the needs are there. So we have got to have a national conversation about who takes the time out of their economic life mm. to look after these children and, I believe, elderly. Omar, the last word, are you quite pleased you're not a woman? I you can't answer that question without being destroyed on Twitter, so I'm going to decline. <laughs> <laughs> Just in terms of you know what women. Are I do think I do in, think in women still. Of, you know, I do think work, women. I think women have children. a tough time. I think women have a very tough time. And I think especially some of the just a, as a man, some of the stuff I see coming out where women should lean in and and do it all and do everything and mm. do three jobs and have four kids and, and like look fabulous. I'm, Don't forget about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I I I just. I can't even do one job without getting tired, and I, I can't imagine that. So I think, and that's what I was saying. I was accused of being in a cave, but that's why I was saying it's good to share responsibilities. I think, I think some of these yeah. comments show it is, it is a recipe for being left behind mm -hmm. for women, and women, uh, you know, are paid differently, and their career prospects are different because they are expected to once they've trained and they've and they've worked in a career, and once they have children. That's it. It's only you're only left behind if if you have comments like that from Lady Judge that says, you know, if you take your time out, then you should be left behind. Okay. It's self fulfilling. It I'm going to have to wrap this conversation up. That's I say it every week because time is never <laughs> on my side here on this program. Thank you very much. Thank you for your comments as well. Do keep them coming in.